Yummy Sorceress here again, and it is unboxing day. Now, before I begin, we have some good news and we have some bad news. Take a moment to decide. Actually, slice that. You guys don't get to decide because I really cannot hear you. Therefore, let's start with the good news. The good news is that there are two new Yu-Gi-Oh! figures. Well, one is new, one is a re-release. But you can easily go on and start pre-ordering these before they sell out. The first one, which many of you have been asking me about, is the Figma Dark Magician Girl. Yes, she has finally been announced. She is set for a release in North America and Japan in December. So, still a couple months off, but go ahead, go and pre-order her. Uh, if you want a price estimate, Hobby Search at the moment is setting her at 5,400 yen. So about $52.99 US dollars. Now, you can probably get this for a little bit cheaper at amiami.com. However, usually their shipping prices are a little bit higher than Hobby Search. So in the end, you will probably be spending about the same, no matter what website you take her from. The second figure is a re-released figure of Joranji Katsuya. So this is a pretty rare treat. These, this is really the only figure of Joranji that many of us even know about that was released in a figure style. So he was originally released back around 2013. However, now he's making another re-release in honor of the 20th anniversary. Right now, he is starting at 6,120 yen, so approximately $60. However, once again, take into consideration the shipping, you are probably going to be seeing a total of around $80 once you get the figure in your hot little hands. But if you are interested in purchasing him, you may want to hurry because these figures from Kotobukiya, they are becoming very rare. They are becoming very hard to find. So once again, if you guys are interested in any of these two figures that I have mentioned, I have put the links for amiami.com and Hobby Search in the description below. So go on over, check it out, see if you even want to pre-order any of these two figures, or just look at all the amazing other collection and figures that they have, and then cry about the fact that you have no money in your wallet. <laughs> And now the bad news. Well, probably not so much bad news for any of us, but I am taking a little leave of absence until around mid-September. Sorry guys, life calls, and really I am going on vacation and will be out of the country for the next couple of weeks. Going to try and enjoy what this supposed summer means, which means go out and vacation. I'm very much of a noob when it comes to a vacation. So moving on to the reason why you clicked on this video today, the unboxing of this figure. Duh! You saw it from the description and the little picture in my YouTube video. This is probably why you clicked on this video in the first place. Now this is a special figure. This is Yugi from his movie version. So I am looking very forward to finally owning one of these. And the nice thing about this figure is that it's fairly easy to find and it is not too heavy on your wallets. So it is a special edition, 20th anniversary movie edition of Yugi. Now, usually I say you can go over to Hobby Search or Amiami.com, usually the places that I go and get these figures. However, for this particular figure, they do not carry it. And I'm not really sure why. I think it's mostly just a promotional figure that was released to everyone, especially when the movie was announced. But you can really, believe me, you could find this figure anywhere. If you go to a convention, you will find it, guaranteed. I. Don't, I thought this was going to be a pretty rare figure or some special deal. No, every convention I've been through so far has this on display and has a good four or five of them. But if you're not going to a convention and you really want this figure, you can easily find this online. I would still suggest stay away from eBay realtors just because a lot of them hail from the places that they make the cheap copies that are not the real ones. However, you can easily find this figure off of Amazon. Just make sure that you are getting a shipment from Japan. More than likely, it will still be very real no matter where you get it off of Amazon. This particular figure I pre-ordered off of Omotenashi style. So, little just little link here at the bottom if you want to go over. They are still available, so go on over. It's very cheap, I promise you, and I'm really looking forward to finally owning a Yugi version from the movie. Now, one more piece of information for you is that beside Yugi, a Dark Magician Girl version was released as well. Of course, it's always the Dark Magician Girl version. I get the idea that she's like the signature female of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, but there have been just so many figures of her that my whole entire collection is like nothing but 
a simple Yugi figure, another Yami figure, and then Dark Magician Girls all across. All for Dark Magician Girl, but let's stop. I can't take it anymore. Now, Yugi is a little bit more expensive than the Dark Magician Girl. He's a little bit more rare to find, even though it really should not be a problem. So when you do or decide to purchase this, look for a price around $40. You can probably even find it for a little cheaper. The Dark Magician Girl, on the other hand, she's going closer to the 20s. So low 30s value is what you will be looking at for her. And I will also be doing an unboxing of the Dark Magician Girl probably in the next movie. All right, let's get to actually unboxing and looking at the box in detail. Here is Yugi on the front cover, 20th anniversary logo at the top here. It is made by Jama, or Jama, however you would like to pronounce it. And it is known as the Full Ryu series. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm having too much fun with the accent there. Full Ryu. No, no, probably not right. Side, nothing special. I mean, I guess you can push these handles in and have it as a carrying thing if, if, if for some reason you find this way too heavy, which it only weighs like a pound maybe. Backside information, probably discussing small parts will choke your kid, whatever it says. Other side, same as the other Dealy Whopper. Uh, you have the punch out cards because I don't know why you would even have these. And one more comment, there will be a sticker right at the bottom here, the famous NAS sticker. And this is to really assure you that it is authentic. If you don't see a sticker like this on any of your figures, already red flags should be going up in your head, which means that it is probably a ripoff and is probably fake. And now the moment of truth. Let's actually get rid of this little tape here and take a look to see what is in this box. So nothing incredible yet. Once the box is open, you will be met with lots of bubble wrap tape, but this just means that it is very well protected. And now we have to unwrap all of this. And once the bubble tape is removed, you will see Yugi wrapped in plastic and meshed with lots of tape between a nice little piece of cardboard. And there you have it. Once you get all the wrappings undone, you have Yugi in all his glory out of the plastic and away from the cardboard box material. First impressions, very nice. Um, with the Kotobukiya figures, for example, if you ever get the Yami no Yugi one, I do like how they finally make the back of his head more three-dimensional instead of flat. So same with this figure. It is very three-dimensional and a lot more spikes in the back compared to the Yami Yugi Kotobukiya figures. Paint job is very well done. There are slight mistakes. If you can see sort of in his coat there, you see some of the blue that is trickling into the white area. This isn't too much of a problem with these special edition figures that come out for movies. The paint job is not exceptional, and therefore this is why the price is a pretty good deal for us. However, don't expect too much detailed wise. I mean, I really like it. There's definitely a lot of shadows that you could see, especially in the pants area with the black shadows around the knees. With these figures, it's pretty dull paint. It's nothing too impressive, but really, it's your choice if you really like the shiny paint. Sometimes I think it detracts from the figure a lot. Facial features are very nice. I am growing to like the new Yugi look. I know his eyes are becoming more like Yami's, more on the slanted side. And I do like this change. It just means in my mind that he is growing up, kind of taking the place of his darker self. So for this figure, he is holding one little dual monsters card. And it does not come with any extra parts. Sorry, it is a standalone figure, but I do like that just because I don't really like to store pieces that much. Backside is very well made. I absolutely love the flowing coat. I think that they did that very well. On his side, you do have his signature belt buckle with his dual, with his pack for his dual monster cards. And on the front, there is, once again, in all of his glory. I like the details along the belt and the shoes with the silver areas. I think they did a very good job with that. And we can't forget about the stand. Here you have your simple stand, just describing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions. So the movie stand for this particular figure. Very simple, easy to install. You have the wedges on his feet and you just stick them really easily into the stand and it holds very well. And there you have it. Perfect little Yugi on top of his stand for all of you Yu-Gi-Oh! lovers and for anyone who is or will possibly be a fan of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. 
And for those of you interested in how tall this figure is exactly, you're looking from the bottom of the base here all the way to the very tip of his spike star on the top of his head, about 7.5 inches. So fairly nice sized figure, very good for any collector. Go out and go find yourself one because really it is a very good price. It does look good. And really, if you are a fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, I would really suggest getting it because how many times do we really get a figure of Yugi? I know I've said this before, but the past couple of months, yes, we have been getting a few more Yugi figures out thanks to the movie, but these probably won't last long. And that's it for this unboxing at the moment. Once again, I will be out of the country for the next few weeks. You can expect the next video sometime around mid-September. I may try my hardest to get something up before then, but don't hold your breaths, people. We all need a vacation, yes, including me. A little foreshadow lately on what I will be presenting in September. Well, we have tons of figures coming out from Japan in September. This is my death month, for sure. So you can expect me to unveil even more Yu-Gi-Oh figures. However, I also have a new figure that we are separating away from Yu-Gi-Oh ever so slowly. I do have an Android 18 figure that is coming in that I am really looking forward to unboxing for you guys. And I have also been getting a lot of people commenting on how can I tell if a figure is real? How can I tell if I'm being swindled for my money or whatever? So I do have an unboxing of a fake figure and we will go through in detail on how you yourself can tell a fake figure from a real figure, because it is very important for collectors like us. In the meantime, thank you for joining me, and I will be back in mid-September. You guys enjoy the rest of your summer vacations. Hopefully you guys are relaxing, because I am not at the moment, and I will be back with you guys very soon, hopefully. Yami Sorceress, out.